In this video, we're going to be making ourselves a little website using HTML and CSS. In previous videos, we have been making single web pages. But what we're doing now in this video is making three individual web pages and joining them together to make a website. Okay, so what we're looking at here is Queensland footy teams. We've got the Brisbane Broncos page here, then we've got the North Queensland Cowboys and the Gold Coast Titans. Okay, and those three pages are linked together, as I said before, to make a website. Okay, so let's get started today by going into our accounts and making a new folder called Queensland Footy Teams. Inside of that Queensland Footy Teams folder, you're going to need two things. We've got this info document here, and that is basically all the writing that you need to put into your um, website. It's got a bit of info about the Broncos, Cowboys and Titans. And also we've got an images folder. Okay, and inside of that images folder, you're going to need these three pictures. Okay, it's the logos of the three footy teams that we are talking about. Okay, so once you've got that folder all set up with the appropriate things inside of it, you are ready to go. So head over to brackets, and we'll start today by making a new file. Before you start typing anything, we'll just go to file and save as. Head over to that Queensland footy teams folder you just made, and the first page that we're going to make is the Broncos. So we'll call it broncos.html. Okay, so make sure you've got .html on the end so we know we're working with a web page and we can get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do as always is just do the doc type tag at the top. It just tells the computer we are making a HTML web page. And then beneath that we can start our HTML tags. All right, so open up your HTML tags and just push the closing tag down a little. And then underneath the HTML tag, we're going to start our head section. Inside the head section, we're going to have a title. And that title is simply going to say Brisbane Broncos. Okay, we're going to come back to the, to uh, the head section and add a style sheet in there later on. But we won't worry about that just yet. So you can jump out of the head section and you can begin the main part of your web page, which is the body section. Now in the body section, the first thing I want to put in is a nice big H1 heading that says the name of the footy club. Okay, so let's put in H1 tags and write Brisbane Broncos. Now would be a good time to save it, so press Control S and go into your account and open that web page up and you can go for a preview. You might have noticed me hitting this little lightning bolt over the side to load up my previews. If you're at school, that's not going to work. Okay, but if you're at home, it probably will work. So this is what we've got so far. We've got a H1 heading that says Brisbane Broncos, and we've got a little title at the top that also says Brisbane Broncos. All right, coming in below that, we're going to add some information. So we need to be still inside the body tags. And we need to go over to our text document here and copy this information. So control C to copy it, and then control V to paste it. Just tab that across, so it's all indented. Alrighty, so what we need to do is just basically put this information into paragraphs. So we'll put that one. It's a nice big paragraph at the start there. And then we'll have a little paragraph down here for paragraph two. And then a final paragraph at the bottom for our hyperlink. I'm just copying and pasting those P tags in. So we've got that bottom paragraph, second paragraph in the middle, and then our first paragraph at the top here. Nice big one. All right, a few things we want to add around this text. I'll just save that so you can have a look at how it's going so far. That's what we've got. A few things we want to add in. Okay, we want to add a picture in. We want to add a picture of the Brisbane Broncos logo, and that's going to come in beneath the heading. So back up here where you've got your H1 tags, just press enter a couple of times. And let's write the image source tag in. And look inside of your images folder and select the Broncos logo JPEG file. Before you close the brackets, remember to put in your alternate text. So alt equals, and just write Brisbane Broncos logo. And then you can close off your pointy brackets. If you save that up and have a look, you can see what this gigantic picture in there now. But don't worry, we are going to resize that a bit later on in our CSS style sheet. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, what else do we need to add in? We need to add this hyperlink at the bottom. 
Okay, at the moment it's just a line of text. It's quick here to go to the official Brisbane Broncos website, and then below it we've got the actual website we want to use as the link. So what I'm going to do is delete those brackets around that link, and then I'm going to highlight it and cut it out by pressing Control X. And we're going to make the words click here into a hyperlink. So just before the word click, we need to write in pointy brackets, ahref equals, and put that website address in there. Okay, we can close those pointy brackets, and remember to cut out this closing A tag, and put it on the other side of click here. Okay, that way the hyperlink is around the words click here, which makes that our hyperlink when we save it and preview it. Okay, you can see down the bottom left there, click here, is now a hyperlink. We do want this hyperlink to open up in a new tab. Okay, so we're just going to add inside those pointy brackets, target equals underscore blank. Okay, and that will open up that hyperlink in a new tab. All right, we're nearly done now. Um, actually, I think we will be done for now. We're going to put a menu bar into our web page a little bit later on, but because we haven't got the Titans and the Cowboys pages made, we won't put that menu bar in just yet. So I'm going to save what I've got there. I might just get rid of some of this empty space actually before I go any further. I've got a bit of it. There we go. That's our Broncos page pretty much done. Okay, once we put the styling in, that's all we need. So what I'm going to do now, instead of starting from scratch, I'm going to go to File and Save As. And I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm going to call this one cowboys.html. Click Save. And now I'm going to turn this page into the Cowboys page. All right, so I'm going to replace the title at the top that says Brisbane Broncos. And I'm going to write in North Queensland Cowboys. Okay, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to put it into the H1 heading as well. Now the image at the moment is a Broncos logo. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to put the Cowboys logo in instead. The alternate text will say North Queensland Cowboys logo. Okay, now we've got some information here about the Broncos that we need to get rid of and replace it with this information here about the Cowboys. Okay, so I'm just going to copy all that. I'll delete all this Broncos writing and paste in the Cowboys information. just need to tab this little bit of information across. Now we need to put paragraphs around all of this text. So just copy and paste a few P tags in. Copy and paste is just Control C and Control V. Alright, so let's put our paragraphs in. If I save that and have a look, you can see it's already looking sweet. We've got a title at the top. Nice big heading, got the picture, got the information. Let's just put this hyperlink in down the bottom here, and we're good to go with our next page. So I'll cut out that Cowboys link by pressing Control X, and we want the words click here to be the hyperlink again, so let's write in ahref equals, paste in the Cowboys link. Don't forget to put target equals blank, and then close the pointy brackets off. Remember to cut out your closing A tag here, that's the closing link tag, and put it on the other side of click here. Alright, so now we've got click here to go to the official North Queensland Cowboys website. Save that up by pressing Control S, preview it in your web browser. Okay, and that looks really good. I should probably click on these links to make sure they are working. Yeah, so that looks good. So that's our Cowboys page done. Again, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go to File and Save As this time. You can see we've got Broncos and Cowboys already saved in our account. This time we want the Titans. So write in Titans.html. And click Save. And now just replace the text again. So this time at the top, Gold Coast Titans. We'll copy that title and put it into the H1 heading as well. We'll replace this Cowboys logo here with the Titans logo, and the alternate text will need to say Gold Coast Titans logo. Now the information about the Cowboys needs to go, so highlight it all and just scrap it, and instead we're going to paste in whoop, the information about the cow uh, Titans, sorry. So highlight the Titans information, Control C to copy, 
Control V to paste. Remember to highlight this information here and just tab it across if it's not already tabbed across. Stick in your P tags first, so you've got some new paragraphs. One, two, three. Copy, paste, paste. All right. And the last thing we need to do is just make this hyperlink down here work. All right, so I'm just going to cut out the Titans hyperlink and we put it around the words click here. So A, href equals, put in the link in quotation marks and then don't forget the target equals underscore blank. So it opens the link in a new tab. Cut out the closing A tag and put it on the other side of click here. That's how a hyperlink should be looking. Alright, so you can save that up. Pressing Control S. Go and preview it. Make sure you've got Gold Coast Titans. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so what we can do now is put in a menu bar to link these pages up. Okay, the menu bar is going to go underneath our H1 heading. And it's going to come before this picture. Okay, so straight below the H1 heading. Let's press Enter a couple of times. And what we're going to write in is a tag called nav. Nav stands for nav bar or a navigation bar. And inside of that nav bar, we're simply going to put in three hyperlinks. So we put in our pointy brackets and start with ahref equals and link to the Broncos page first of all. Close your pointy brackets and just write Brisbane Broncos. All right. On the next line, we'll do the same thing again, ahref equals. And this time we're going to link to the Cowboys page. Close your pointy bracket and write North Queensland Cowboys. You might have noticed I'm not writing in target equals underscore blank up here because I don't want these pages to open up in a new tab. I want them just to stay in the same window. Okay, They're all part of the same website so there's no reason for us to open up a new tab and take us away from the site. Alright, the last one we're going to put in is ahref equals and we're going to go down and select titans.html and just close your brackets and write in gold coast titans okay we've now got a little nav bar or a menu bar that will be at the top of our page if we save it and have a look at it it's probably going to be a little bit ugly at the moment okay but here it is brisbane broncos north queensland cowboys and gold coast titans if i was to click on one of these for example broncos it would take me to the broncos page if I go back and click on North Queensland Cowboys, it will take me to the Cowboys page. What I want to do is just separate these so they don't all look like one big hyperlink. Okay, and the way I'm going to do that is just put in some vertical lines. So at the very start here in my nav bar, before the Broncos link, I'm going to hold down Shift and put in a vertical stroke, which is just above your Enter key. Okay, it's next to your square brackets if you can't find it. And then I'm going to put in a space. Okay, at the very end... Of this line I'm going to put a space and then hold shift and press that vertical line again. All right. Then I'm just going to come down to the Cowboys section at the very end of the, the uh, link here. I'm just going to put a space, put in another vertical line, and then down on the Gold Coast Titans link line, right at the very end, put in a space and a vertical line. Okay, so I put in one, two, three, four vertical lines. And when I save that now, those vertical lines will appear in between our hyperlinks. Okay, it still doesn't look great, but we'll style it up with a bit of CSS shortly, and that'll look a lot better. All right, so what I'm going to do now is just copy that navbar, and I'm going to be able to paste that into the other pages. So let's open them back up, go to File and Open, and just navigate your way back to your footy folder, and open up the Broncos and the Cowboys. You can highlight them both at once and open them and you'll see that the Broncos and the Cowboys open up down here. So in the Broncos one, just beneath the H1 heading, Control V to paste that nav bar in, just there. Okay, comes below the H1 heading and above the image. Alright, save that and then go to the Cowboys and you'll want to do the same thing. Alright, so under the Cowboys heading, just Control V to paste in that hyperlink. Save it up by pressing Control S and just preview it. You should be able to now link through to all those different pages. Okay, so that looks really good. 
We've got our HTML section done. What we need to do now is the CSS. Instead of doing a second video, I might just do it in this one. Okay, it'll save us a bit of mucking around. So we'll go to File and New. Okay, and before we start typing, we're just going to go to Save As, navigate to your footy folder, and you just want to call this style.css. Okay, the handy thing with this style sheet is we can apply the style to all three pages in one go. Okay, this is the really handy thing with these style sheets. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to put a background color in on each page. Okay, so let's write in the HTML tag first and open up a curly brace. Simply write the word background and choose yourself a color. I'm going to do hashtag 3E, 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 and then a semicolon. Okay, if you hover over that, that's a really dark gray color. And if I save that, nothing's going to happen to our pages yet because they're not linked up to the style sheet. All right, so we need to go back to our HTML documents and link up our style sheet. So remember, as always, in the head section at the top, just go below the title and write in link rel equals style sheet and then href equals and just link up your style.css document. Close your pointy brackets when you're done. That's now linked up the style sheet to the Titans page. What you need to do is copy that line of text, come over to the Broncos and paste it in in the same spot up in your head section. Save that, go to your Cowboys page, underneath the title do the same thing, paste in that one line of code that will connect your style sheet to the Cowboys page. Save that, go and test it and you can see now I've got this grey background on the Cowboys page, the Broncos page and the Titans page. Looks pretty ugly at the minute but don't worry, we're going to make it look a lot better shortly. So back in the style sheet, there's one other thing I want to do. I just want to put a bit of padding around the page so our text doesn't hug the edges of the page. So we're just going to put in some padding and make it 5 pixels. Okay, that'll put 5 pixels padding on the top, bottom, left and right of our page. If I go back for preview, you're not really going to see that too well, but there is a slight little gap now down the left, top, right and bottom of the page. Alrighty, so that's all I want to style up for the HTML section. Next thing I'm going to style up is the body section of each page. Okay, and you might have remembered me saying this in previous videos. We always style the font first. So font family is going to be sans serif. Font dash size is going to be 1 em. And the line height is going to be 1.5 em. Okay, we always do that first. And that just changes our font. You're not really going to be able to see it at the moment. Okay, but if you do see it, there is a slight change in font. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the background white. Okay, and that way we're going to be able to see our text again now. So when I save that, I'll show you what that actually does. Okay, because we put the grey colour in the HTML tags, we get a little bit of grey around the outside still. But the body section, okay, is white now. And it makes the text a hell of a lot easier to read. Okay. Um, you can see that the text is hugging the edge of this white box, so what we might do is put in a bit of padding to fix that. So let's write padding and throw in about 10 pixels of padding. Save that and you'll see that the text is no longer hugging the edges and the top of the box. Okay, so this is looking a lot better already. Alright, after the body section, next thing we might do is we might style up the navbar quickly just by centering it on the page. Okay, so if we go back to our HTML for a sec, here's the nav tags. We're just going to style up those three hyperlinks inside of them. Okay, so we write nav, open up our curly brace, and we just write text align as center. If you save that and have a look now, you've got your menu bar in the center, or the nav bar, sorry, in the center of each page. That's all we need to worry about for the nav bar. Next thing we might do is style our H1 heading up a bit. Okay, I'm going to change my font family to fantasy font, something a little bit different. I'm going to change the size of my H1 heading to 4EM. So the heading on each page is going to be four times its usual size. We might do a text transform and throw our text into uppercase. And we'll also put them in the center of the page. Okay, so our H1 headings now should be a lot bigger uppercase text and centered on the page. 
Okay, so that looks pretty sweet. Might put some colour into those in just a moment as well. I think we could use different colours for each team. Okay, so what we could do here, we could write in a colour here, for example, blue. But if we do that, everyone's heading is going to be blue. Okay, so this is where we've got a bit of an issue. What we need to do is delete that from H1, and we need to come up with a unique identifier for each H1 heading in these documents. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to go back to our HTML documents. Let's start with the Titans. Find the H1 heading that says Gold Coast Titans, and in the H1 tag, put a space and write class equals, we'll just write Titans. Okay, you can write any name for this, but what we've done is given this H1 heading now a unique name. So we can style up the Titans H1 heading individually, and it's not going to affect the other guys out. Alright, so I'll save that. And we'll do it for the Broncos too. So they find the H1 heading in Broncos, and we'll just write class equals, in quotation marks, we'll just write Broncos. Save that by pressing Control S. Go to the Cowboys. Find the H1 heading and do the same thing, class equals, just write Cowboys. Again, you could put any name in there that you want, but you want to make it meaningful, so that's why I've written Cowboys. I'll save that up. Now in my style sheet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to style up each of those H1 headings individually, so they've each got their own colour. So I'll do H1.Broncos, and I'll start with the Broncos. So this is basically saying I'm styling up the H1 heading on the Broncos page only. And what I'm going to do there is just change the color to a hashtag 8B152C and then a semicolon. And that will change it to a maroney color and a color that suit the Broncos. Okay, so if I go to the Cowboys page, it's black. If I go to the Titans, it's black. But if I go to the Broncos, we've got a maroon color that matches their logo. All right, so let's do the same for the other two teams. We'll write in h1.cowboys for the next one. Open up some curly braces. And we're going to write in color. And it's going to be equal to a hashtag 180, oh, sorry, 0, F5D. Put a semicolon. And that's going to be a dark blue color. And for the titans, we'll write h1.titans. Open up curly braces. And what we're going to have here is color. And I'll use another hashtag, so another hexadecimal value, 3EACDD, the semicolon. That should be a light blue colour. So now that I saved that up, we can go and have a look at our pages. We've got Broncos in maroon, North Queensland in a dark blue, and Gold Coast in a light blue. Alrighty, so those class names that we put in the HTML, these classes here, are the individual or unique names that allow us to style up just one certain section and not affect any others. So it's a handy tool to know. Alright, so what else have we got? We've got to style up our logo, obviously, because it's way too big. Okay, so what have we got? We've got our logo sitting inside the image tags here. Alrighty, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to style this up in two ways. We're going to start with the IMG tag on our style sheet and we're going to change its width to 250 pixels. That'll make the images a lot smaller. Okay, if we save them up and have a look now, you can see it's a lot more suitable at that size. The issue that we've got now is it's on the left and I want to get it centered. Okay, and we can't center an image just using the image tag. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our HTML and what we're going to have to do is put a paragraph around our image. Okay, so we're going to write in P and we're going to give it a class name, a unique name. So P class equals, and we'll just write logo. Close that pointy bracket off. Take out the closing P tag and put it below the image. Okay, so that's what we've just put in there. P class equals logo. We've got the image tag in the middle of it and then the closing P tag after it. The reason we gave this paragraph a unique name because we're going to center this um, picture. Okay, if we just centered the P tag, then all this writing would be centered as well. And we don't want that. We just want this one paragraph centered. 
All right, so what we need to do is copy that P class equals logo and put it on the Broncos around the image. Make sure you close your P tag off as well below it. Okay, so we've got it there and there. Save that. Go to the Cowboys and do the same thing. So put P class equals logo, then you've got your image, and then we close that paragraph off. Okay, so there it is just there that I put in. If we save that up now, we can go to our style sheet and just center that paragraph. So what we'll do is we'll write in P dot logo. Open up our curly brace. So just the paragraph with the logo in it. We'll write text align and center it. Okay, even though it's not text, it is a picture, that's going to center align that image anyway with that little bit of code. Save it up, have a look, and you can see now that your pictures are centered. So you've got Broncos, Cowboys, Titans. And that's our pages all done. Okay, if you wanted to, you could go and test those links out. You can see that they open up in a new tab. We've already tried the Cowboys, so we'll just check the Titans. Yep, that works too. Alrighty, so that is our first little website where we've linked three web pages together, all done. See you in the next video.